the 20 inside the 10 yard line. And a lot of times you've been able to place it down inside the 10 and the guys don't get down to cover it in time. But there's a real skill to that. What is the skill? Let's say you're at the 45 yard line. You don't want to kick a 45 yard to the end zone. How do you lay it up so it bounces inside the 10? I mean, it's kind of like <clears throat> golf. It's kind of like a chip shot. So it's like for something like that, depending on where I'm on the field, it's like I'm kind of considering more hang time. And I mean, it is. it just takes some practice really because it's like, you know, it's a whole different punt. So for me, it's like, I'm increase. I'm trying to increase hang time as I get closer. So I mean, like we have one for BYU, and I'll stand on the 40. For me, that's kind of that's a little farther, so it won't have as much hang time as one that I'm gonna have on like the 50. I'm just trying to like get that back spin, so like hopefully someone's gonna get down to catch it. And if it doesn't, hopefully it's gonna hit the ground and bounce up and not like forward or backwards. Is so. it always a 